Hi everyone, Year 7, welcome back. This is the Redbridge Science Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to boil water safely. Okay? So, three objectives. Can I safely boil water using a Bunsen burner? Can I draw the experiment using the scientific diagrams correctly? And can I also accurately record the temperature of the water throughout the experiment? Okay, so the setup is here. Uh, let's just go through what equipment we've got. We've got the heat proof or safety mat, Bunsen burner, the tripod, okay, so here's the tripod, a gauze, a beaker, which has already got water in it. I'll be using a thermometer, and we've also got here uh, a clamp with a stand. So, first thing to do then is to put some water in a beaker. I'm using 150 centimeters cubed. Put it on top of the gauze, on top of the tripod, make sure it's nice and centered over the safety mat. Now, I've got to clamp my thermometer, and obviously the trick here is to make sure that you clamp it tight enough so that it doesn't uh, fall out, but not so tight that you actually crush the glass thermometer. And I'm also trying to position it to make sure that I can see clearly as many of the numbers as possible. The clamp is hiding a few of them here, but I can see most of the numbers, particularly up around sort of 70, 80, 90, 100 degrees uh, Celsius. So I'm going to move that into position. Now, it's important, whenever you measure temperature of anything, to make sure that the bulb on the thermometer, that red bit at the bottom, is touching the material that you would like to record the temperature of. So I need to make sure that the bulb is in the water. So I need to go a little bit lower. I don't want the bulb to be touching the glass, because I don't want to know the temperature of the glass, I want to know the temperature of the water. So I've positioned it so that it's right in the center of the water. And I can see the numbers on the thermometer. Right, so first of all, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to use a stop clock and I'm going to, when I start the Bunsen going, I will start the timer and record and every minute I'm going to write down what the temperature says. Okay, so first of all, let's light the Bunsen, think about safety, got my goggles, I've made sure my hair is nice and short, I haven't got anything hanging down, I've got this in the centre of a desk. I've got the um, collar on the Bunsen turn so that the air hole is closed. And my Bunsen is ready. Now, turning to my results table, first temperature that I must remember to record is the temperature at the start of the experiment, okay, before I actually begin heating. So I need to know what temperature is this water. It's come straight from the tap. I'm going to try and get my eyes level with the thermometer like you've been shown how to, how to do. And that water is 22 degrees Celsius. So I can put that in here, 22 degrees Celsius. A little bit larger. And now I'm ready to start. So, I'm going to turn the collar so that the Bunsen is on a gentle blue flame to begin with. I don't want to go straight to a roaring blue. And I've got my stop clock ready and we'll start the timer. Now at this point, I need to keep an eye on the experiment. I don't want to sort of turn and have a chat with my friends or start doing other things. I need to just watch the experiment to make sure that nothing's going to go wrong. Obviously keeping my distance for safety. But I'm also going to make sure I keep an eye on the time. So when one minute is up, I can then read the thermometer and go and put the next temperature in. So I'm going to do that for the first minute. Okay. While, while that is happening, what I'd like you to do is perhaps have a think about um, what might we see happening during this experiment. So as the water heats up, what might we see happening? Okay, you're thinking about safety, 
And in a minute, I'm going to be drawing a diagram of this setup as well. So perhaps you could be thinking about what is it going to look like. Okay? Right. That's the first minute. So let me read the thermometer. Okay, it's already 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, 36 Celsius. And I'm going to leave that running. But I'm actually going to attempt to multitask here. I've got to remember to keep an eye on the stop clock though. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to draw this. So, using a ruler, you guys would be using a pencil. I'm going to use a pen to make sure that it shows up properly. But I'm going to draw a beaker first of all. I'm going to put some water in that. And the thermometer. Now the way we draw a thermometer is a straight line. And it's got that bit there for the bowl. And that's my next minute. Read the thermometer. Okay. 48 degrees Celsius. I wouldn't normally encourage you to try and do these two things at the same time because it's quite difficult to uh, record temperatures and do a diagram at the same time. So you would be doing these two things separately. Okay, now underneath the beaker, we have a gauze, which we show with a series of crosses like this and underneath the gauze we have the tripod and with the tripod we just basically show two legs, it's got three, tri means three but we just show two of them otherwise the one down the centre is kind of in the way and the other thing we've got is a Bunsen burner, now the Bunsen burner you may remember is shown with a symbol of an arrow that points upwards Okay, here's my next minute. Okay, 59 degrees Celsius. And the word heat. Okay, much easier to do that than trying to draw a Bunsen. What else have we got? Oh yes, we have a heat proof mat at the bottom. The word heat is right in the way actually. So we have a heat proof safety mat there. Make the legs a bit longer. And that's it. That would be the setup. I'm not going to bother drawing the clamp and the stand. We don't really need it. It's not. I need it to hold the thermometer, but it's not that crucial to the experiment. So that would be the way in which we draw this diagram. I'll show you that to the camera again in a second. But my next minute is up. And the temperature is now 72 degrees Celsius. Okay. So this is the way that we would draw uh, a diagram of this setup here. So let's go through it again. We've got the thermometer, the beaker, this is the gauze, we have the tripod, the heat proof safety mat, and this represents the Bunsen burner. Okay. Notice I've drawn the thermometer bulb in the centre of the water. Okay. Now I'm not going to keep this experiment going uh, for the full time, I'm just going to take one more reading which is due in a moment. Okay. More seconds. Okay, I'll take this last reading here, which is 86 degrees Celsius. So you can see that in just five minutes, the temperature's gone from 22 to 86. And I wonder what will start to happen over these next two or three or four minutes if we were to continue to heat. You possibly can already see some things happening in there. I wonder how hot the water will get. I wonder what the temperature will go up to. Now I'm deliberately going to stop the experiment at this point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Bunsen back onto safety flame. Okay, so I'm going to turn it out, take it out. 
turn the collar back to the safety flame and turn it off at the gas tap. Okay. Now, the packing away, of course, will have to wait. There's no way I'm going to touch any of that at the moment. We know that it's 86 degrees of water. The glass, the top of this tripod here, I can feel the heat coming off right now. So there's no way I'm even going to think about touching any of that for a while. So we would leave that now and probably go away and do another task. Okay. So hopefully now you've seen... That is how we would hopefully safely boil the water. You've seen how to draw it with the scientific diagrams, and hopefully you've been able to accurately record the temperature throughout the experiment. As I said, I've attempted to do the diagram whilst doing the recordings. You would probably do one, do the recordings, and then draw the diagram after the experiment. Okay, that's it, everyone. Thank you.